Hello everyone, this is Tons Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series What If uh, Doctor Strange Supreme. Uh, sorry if my voice is a little raspy, I'm just trying to get over the cold right now, so uh, just bear with me. But um, here we have the Marvel Legends logo here on top. What If logo, Doctor Strange Supreme. Here is the side art. Here is the back with all the details here. And then we would be building Uwatu. This is the last figure in the wave. We already did Zombie uh, zombie Captain America, Star-Lord T'Challa, Captain Carter, Zombie Andrew Spidey. Now we're doing Doctor Strange Supreme. We already did Nebula and Sylvie. And here's the other side. Here is the top with the Watchers logo furnished. And then here's the bottom with D DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Doctor Strange Supreme. So let's go over the accessories first. So first we get the Watchers left leg which we'll go over once we build them and then we get dr strange's cape here uh it's a very like soft plastic here uh it's very silky right here it kind of feels like i don't know it feels weird it kind of leaves something i don't know it's kind of it feels like it actually has moisture on here because of how smooth it is i don't know how to describe it like it feels like just leaving something on your hands but it's not really i don't know it's very silky like you could tell it is too with the like shine that it has in there and then you also get like this gold detailing here in the inner part uh you also get this like little peg here and the cape so you can plug it into his back so that way it holds and you get this gold lining around sorry my fingers feel weird after touching the inner part it's kind of weird but I like the detail in that it has in the back. It's very shiny. And then in the back here, you also get some texturing here. Um, and then you get the pointy collar here with the gold lining around it too. Same thing on the outer parts. And you get the texture, uh, the sculpting here on the outer part also, which I think is the same. Yeah, it's the same, except it's just completely matte black here. So yeah, you, you get that cape there. I'll show you how to put that on. And you get extra hand here for his right hand. This is him using the uh, time um, the time spell with the uh, Eye of Agamotto, but he does not have that on him. Nope. So no Eye of Agamotto, even though he's supposed to. Um, so yeah, it's just a regular hand that he uses. Uh, I think we've seen this hand, except they just glued the effects on there with that circle with the relics around it. So... Yeah, clear plastic. Don't try to take it off or anything like that. Otherwise, it's just going to break. So, yeah, really cool. I, I will be using this with this figure. Um, and then here is Dr. Strange Supreme up close. So, yeah, here is his head sculpt. Yeah, you get the animation look really well with this figure. Um, you get the, like that long face with the uh, pointy chin here with this goatee. So... And then you get the purpled out eyes that kind of look, well, like raccoon eyes, because I guess not sleep. Um, and then you get the like faded gray there along the sides of his hair. And then the messy hair look. And then you get his supreme outfit there with the purple like logo here with the uh, maroon like robe. And then I think this part, the skirt piece here, is reused from the Doctor Strange movie, the first one. Except it's just repainted differently. So yeah, you get the orange there instead of the brown. And this was supposed to be blue. I wish they painted the actual belts around them uh, brown. And then here you get the under sh shirt, long sleeve shirt there, blue. And then you get the... Uh, bracelets or gauntlets there, gold with some red detailing in there. And then you get the purple, I mean not purple, blue pants here with the black boots, which we've seen before. So yeah, and then you get the peg hole there to put on the cape, just like, it's kind of weird. <laughs> there we go. Just like that. Focus. There we go. Uh, 
It doesn't want to really get in there. Oh, there we go. Now it wants to. So yeah, that's how it looks. It kind of looks like it's just floating on there, not really sitting on him. Uh, next, let's go over the articulation. See, so he has a double ball jointed head. So you can look down that far. He can look up that much, left and right. Lots of head pivoting there. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation there. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Also pinless joints, by the way. Wrists can hinge down that far, up that far. 360 rotation. He has a ball joint at the hip. So you can move forward just that much, backwards that much, side to side. Some twisting. Legs can kick out just that much. The skirt piece here kind of gets in the way. Forward, same deal. Not a whole lot. Skirt piece also gets in the way. Backwards, same deal. Thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Also still pinless because I mean, it's still pinned in them because they're reused. And then you got boot cut here. Ankles can edge down that much. Up that much. Nice ankle pivot. So yeah, that's the Supreme Doctor Strange for you. I really like this figure. I really like the... It came with the Ray Matt accessories, I think. Um, I would just say it's missing the Eye of Agamotto. Um, because I do remember him using it in the uh, series. So I kind of wish they added the Eye of Magamoto, But I really like this effect hand here that they added in. I still need the new Doctor Strange from the No Way Home wave. Um, the only one that I have is the first Doctor Strange movie figure, which has that weird effect as basically just a shield, which I don't really like. So I really hope I could get those effects. Um, I know they also released one three pack with uh, Iron Man and Thanos, but I missed out on that one and they're pretty expensive. So yeah, um, I do recommend you get him because uh, what if it's kind of like a... I think this wave is going to be hard to find after a while, um, especially this guy. I know it because I've, I have I kind of had to hide him because I was kind of broke for a little bit. And then once I got my money back, I have I went back to where I hid him and he was still there. So, uh, But yeah, this guy has been pretty hard to find um, because it took me a while to find him. I did find the whole uh, wave at Walmart and... It just it was missing this and Sylvie. So if you do see him, grab it when you can. Uh, I know I say that with a lot of the figures, but this guy is pretty hard to find. Uh, so yeah, just keep an eye out for this Doctor Strange. Um, but yeah, I think this, uh, the paint and sculpting on this thing is pretty good. I just wish they painted the belts more uh, to give it more detail. And then the cape is really cool. I don't know how I feel about the cape feeling that smooth. And I don't know. It's just weird. Like after you touch it and then you feel your fingers, it's just like, what? <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the inside of the cape there. But um, it's a really cool looking cape though. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. So make sure you guys check out my link tree. It has my TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, and uh, PayPal if you want to help out uh, with this channel. But besides that, thanks for watching.